This is uh, Steve Nee with a behind the scenes look at the fine lights setup. Uh, it's daytime here and the show is done. Before we break it down, we'll walk through a few things. Okay, we'll start with the mega tree. This is uh, 20 feet tall, two 10 foot black pipes using the christmaslightshow.com mega tree kit. And you can see the ring here is just uh, PVC, one and a half inch with the bungees holding the bottom. These are Boscoya strips and the pixels are every three inches. This is a uh, 32 by 78. And I gave myself plenty of room down here at the bottom so I didn't run out of space to tighten them up. Under here is a uh, Falcon F-16. Up in the box. So this Falcon F-16 goes to uh, the mega tree. And then the expansion board that's there goes for the, the yard, mini trees, and the arches, and uh, ev actually everything in the yard. So for the mega tree, each run up and down has uses one input or one output. So here's one, one, three, five, seven, nine, all the way around. And then also for the star, for the star, it's the, three, the 270 node Bosco Yo three foot star. I've got two cables running up, one for data and one for power injection. And there's a single line run all the way to the top. And you can see the, the pulley system here as part of the Mr. Christmas uh, uh, christmaslightshow.com uh, setup. Okay, we'll close this up and then walk to the uh, the outputs for the diff receivers are right there. There's only two being used. We'll check those out. Okay, going to one of the diff receivers in the yard. This diff receiver here has four outputs. One goes to the angel. Number two goes to this wreath with the snowflake with power injection over to here. Output three goes to this angel, and then output four goes to the cross. We'll take a look at this box. You can see it. And so I am using one power injection to go between the two mega wreaths with the snowflakes. Okay, let's take a look at the other diff receiver. Okay, this diff receiver in the yard. Looks just like the other diff receiver. It's actually built exactly the same way, so I can use them in either place. And for this one, we have eight arches. Output of one of the outputs goes through four arches, gets power injected here, and then the last four arches is one output. For the mini trees, output goes to the corner, and it goes one, two, three, four, gets power injected five, six, seven. So it's only using two of those outputs. And then output three goes to this eight foot column to the star, gets power injected, goes to this eight foot and the star. And then the last output of that diff receiver goes to this column star and this column and star. Okay, so we also have one more Falcon F-16 with a 16 port expansion. And that's driving everything on the building see here as I pan across. So a lot of the outputs are going into this matrix. It's uh, 10 feet across by 8 feet tall. And then there's an output going to every four strands. It goes up, down, up, down. That's one. And up, down, up, down. That's two. Up, down, up, down. Three. All the way across. There's 15 sets of four for this matrix. There's an output for the mega spinners. Output for each output for each holly there and then for these windows which are four feet wide by eight feet tall one output goes around here goes back goes to the snowflake and goes to that snowflake up there all with one output for this one goes around the window goes to that snowflake and that snowflake on one output this snowflake has its own output there this one goes around the window hits that snowflake and then that snowflake and then one more output from here goes around that window, goes to that snowflake, and then runs up to that snowflake. 
And that is it. Let's take a look inside this black box so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so here we are. Take a look inside this box. Mounted up on the building with uh, two French cleats. Actually, let's see if we can see that. There's a French cleat there. French cleat all the way towards the top. You kind of see it. So there's four mortar anchors holding the bottom cleats. And this box gets lifted and set into place and then screwed into the cleats. It's a good five and a half feet off the ground at the bottom of this. So in here, we run power. This uh, ups, keeps power to the Raspberry Pi. And these timers uh, turn on and off power to the Falcon controller. Here are all the wires for network, speaker out. Here's the Raspberry Pi on this shelf. And we're using the Sound Blaster Play. I've got an extra LAN, so that way one goes to the church, the other one is for the uh, show network. And then up here is a Falcon F-16. For this show, we are splitting the audio. We have speakers outside. We have a uh, XLR cable coming out of the box here. And it runs down and goes over to these PA speakers. We built these little sheds to keep the rain off of it. There's one speaker, and then the output of this speaker runs across on another XLR cable into that box over there with yet one more speaker. Okay, and the last thing to show is how we handle power out here. We also shut off power and turn power on before the show for the speakers and for the Falcon controller on the ground and the distro boards. So in this box here, we have timers and we have them spaced just a couple minutes off from each other so that way when they turn on they don't blow the circuit and then close that cover it with a bag it does a very effective job another thing we've done here very cost effective is wrapping all the plugs with just a little saran wrap to keep the water off it it rains a lot here in the dc metro area and that is it that's the behind the scenes thank you